It takes a brave Palestinian to hold out here, to cling onto his own land in the face of Israel's expanding settlements. But in this little patch of orchard is a family that's refused to leave its land despite an order to get out. Mohammed Khatib and his son have been told to leave their home to make way for a settlement for Jews, some of them from as far away as Russia. has your family owned this land here? Uh, we own it uh, as long as we live. It's inherited from our grandfathers and fathers as well. How many years do you think that is? More than 100 years? Yes. Do you have the documents to prove this? Do you have the original deeds and papers proving? Oh, of course we have. We have the documents from uh, the Ottoman period and from the period of the British mandate also. And you have your tax forms, you have the documents showing that this bit of yes, land which we're all, on now... all of this, yes, um, we have. Why is he fighting for his house? Ask him, would you? Because it is his house. Would you ask him? Suleiman, what is this document we have here? It's a warning for uh, us to leave the house, to leave our house. This yeah. is the official notice to quit? Yes. Now, this is in Hebrew. Do you yes. speak Hebrew? No, not very much. No what much. have you done with this document? Where is the original? Uh, you... We gave it to our lawyer, Jonathan Kutab. Kutab? Yes. Jonathan Kutab. And he is in East Jerusalem? Yes, in East Jerusalem. OK. Although annexed by Israel, the center of East Jerusalem is still ostentatiously Arab. Israelis fear they'll be attacked here. Israeli taxi men don't like to drive on this side of the city. Palestinian Center for the Study of Nonviolence, that sounds promising. Jonathan Kutov, there's our man. He was given a charge sheet saying that he has to turn over his property to the state. But you see, it was needed for a public purpose. Public purpose meaning? Hospitals, schools, uh, roads, uh, something that benefits the community. So we were told that the public purpose was a special scheme for building your own home. Ah. I said, wonderful. He's been trying very hard to build a home for his son on this land, but was told you couldn't build on it. So now if you can build on it, he would be glad to build a unit, a single apartment here, in return for turning over his property. He doesn't want money, but he wants to participate in this wonderful public scheme. And? Well, he was told 
I'm afraid you're not a member of the public we intend to serve. Because the only people who are entitled under this program are either new immigrants or those who have served in the army. But he can't serve in the army. Well, he said our army. This has to be the Israeli army. If the purpose for which this confiscation occurred is to serve Jews and Jews only and excludes him, we object. <laughs> Above Mohammed Khatib's home, the settlements continue to be built. And among the settlers moving in are Europeans. Sonia Leani was born in France. Et combien d'argent vous avez payé pour cet appartement ici? Je dois dire le prix. Oui, oui, monsieur. 190 000 dollars. Ouf, c'est extraordinaire. Mmh, très bel appartement, six mmh. pièces, mmh. avec euh, deux, deux balcons mmh. et un très grand jardin. Mais vous n'avez pas la peur d'habiter ici Pas du tout. Pas dans, ce n'est pas dangereux Non, pas du tout. Mickey Mollard is head of the Settlements Residents um, Association. About Arabs and Jews, mm -hmm. and here I'll let you understand a bit of the geography. Over here where the minaret is, the mm -hmm. mosque, this is a village which is outside of Jerusalem. And it's obviously an it Arab Muslim. It is an Arab Muslim. village, Muslim, it's called Khizme. In front of us you see your build your own house scheme, mm -hmm. where we see on the right hand of it, we see an Arab house, mm -hmm. and here's was owner of part of the land and he wanted to buy Mr. Mollard has been following the story of Mohammed Hatib and the Palestinians efforts to keep his land so he went to court because because he wanted he said it's part of my land I'm willing to pay for it again mm -hmm. but I want the right to buy on it and now it's in court and we will wait and see it will be very interesting him, uh, because he's an Arab he's not Jewish do you think it's fair that it's still in the courts I mean shouldn't the Israelis just say fine this man wants to be with us um, if you talk fairness maybe you're right but uh, we live in a society where there are certain laws and um, if I would have been him, I wouldn't even try to go and live within a dense Jewish settlement. It, it won't fit in, there will be problems. Heather, hi, it's Robert here. How are you? Fine. Listen, I'm going to be going up to Acre from Jerusalem. Yes, <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Okay, fine. I'll call you from there. Bye-bye.